What's up everyone, it's Harry here bringing you playoffs of the YouTube Competitive League. We're here against Matt O'Shea and the Montreal Milotics. It's going to be a very quick um, team builder for this game because uh, we mixed up our time zones a little bit. Um, we were supposed to play in like uh, six hours uh, and then we realized that uh, we got the time zones wrong. Uh, so we just said let's play now before he goes to bed. So it's about midnight for Matt, um, so don't want to keep him up too late. Um, I went through our teams like only, what, two, three weeks ago, um, so you can check that out for how I talk about uh, the two teams and how they go up against each other. Um, I'm going to get into uh, my team that I'm bringing for the game. Yeah, starting off, I do have Choice Scarfed, uh, Victini again, Ragnar as a lead. Um, it's like a lot of speed, nearly max special attack. Uh, whereas last time I went nearly max HP uh, and then a fair bit of attack, um, so different set. It is special. The uh, plan isn't to final gambit at the start of the game this time. It is to, um, you know, keep Victini alive and chip things down. Um, and then final gambit's kind of there as an emergency, like, uh, like I guess last time when Sloking started setting up, you know, I can final gambit and get the free switch into Zygarde if I need to. Um, Maybe on Gigalith if he brings that, maybe Torn, um, you know, kind of just have to wait and see, but yeah, I don't really want to final game. I originally actually had Scorching Sands on it, but I was never really clicking it, like, I think something comes in where um, I'm going to Scorching Sands, like, I probably just U-turn, so I don't really see the point of that. Um, I'm going for a very defensive uh, Rillaboom. So Bark is holding an eject button this week, which we hope to use against either uh, the Verizion or maybe the um, Rotom. So if he uses Volt Switch, I switch out, but he has to stay in. Uh, again, free Zygarde. Uh, if it's Verizion, free Victini. Both are really good. Um, and yeah, it's max HP, max defense. Um, it still hits like pretty hard. It still hits things like um, Excadrill, Gigalith, um, after my jetpack kills Verizion with Acrobatics. Like, yeah, it's I think it's a good set for this game. Um, and Grass Glide's always nice, even without lots of attack or a choice band. I've gone for Banded Snoop this time. We went, well, we're going Jolly this time, so we'll definitely outspeed. Here's Verizion if it's not Scarfed, because he did catch us out with um, some aggressive speed creeping last time. Uh, it's max attack, and yeah, just enough speed for the Verizion. Um, <clears throat> scale shot's really interesting in this game because uh, some of you switch into like Torn. Um, if I scale shot, I'm faster, and um, you know he might not be able to stay in. So maybe force some switches, which forces some predictions. Um, Zen headbutt is there just for the bruising on, um, but yeah, mostly keep clicking thousand arrows uh, unless scale shot looks good in the situation. Um, there's also extreme speed, um, which is you know, just always nice on a bandit set uh, to finish things off. Toxtricity, I did go max special attack assault vest last time. This time I'm just max HP, max speed F. Um, so looking to hang around um, a bit longer than last time. Um, I think it's the same move pool. I did think about having nozzle, um, but I'm never really clicking it. Um, you know, be nice some things, but yeah, he's got a couple of immunities in Excadrill and Rotom, so it wasn't really, well, not immunities in Rotom, but it can't be, um, paralyzed. Um, Grassy C on the, um, Comfey, max HP, max defense, which is quite nice. Um, Triage gives me the priority on Giga Drain and Synthesis, and we've got Stored Power. Uh, he might not expect Stored Power, he might expect, um, Draining Kiss for the Moltres. Um, currently touch the Moltres, but like he doesn't know that. Um, so it can maybe take advantage a little bit of him not wanting to come in and then, you know, boost up and then start doing things with Storm Power. Um, I do expect Torn to have uh, Taunt, um, but I can force some situations um, in my favor with that, I think. So, you know, it should be, should be good. Hopefully, it can clean up actually. Uh, Clue Star, I'm going Never Melt Ice this time, but it's very bulky. Um, I only outspeed 
all his non-scarf is, so something like rapid spin excadrill could outspeed me, or just basically any scarfer. Um, but I wanted the extra bolt so I can come in on um, the excadrill, um, and never melt ice lets me kill everything. So even like ice shard becomes really good. Um, I've gone adamant this time, so I'm not going to worry about hydro pump. Pin missile needs Rotom to be basically under three quarters, uh, probably about 65% um, would be more ideal if I can get him below that, uh, and then I can kill it with um, pin missile. Uh, otherwise, yeah, ice could speed just kind of annihilates him, which is really nice. And um, yeah, that's my team for playoffs. Um, it's going to be the last Wi-Fi game of uh, Sword and Shield for one of us, so. Yeah, hopefully it's not me. Um, I'll see you back shortly for the match. <laughs> Alright, we're here. Back for the match. Um, it was a tough road getting here. Let's see what Matt brought. Uh, good luck, have fun to him, obviously. He brings a Klefki this time, instead of Moltres. Um, makes sense. I guess. Didn't really expect the Klefki to come. Does that change anything? Kind of. Makes me want to lead um, Zygarde. I was going to lead Toxtricity, but um, Zygarde probably looks better now, I think. So I'm going to do that. Uh, Victini could have been good too, but um, I think this is yeah, quite all right. Yeah, let's roll with that. Um, I'm obviously bringing a pretty different team than last time. Not sure what he'll do. He was very worried about, um, obviously, Cloister and Zygarde uh, last time. I expect it'll be you know, similar this time, I guess. Uh, we'll obviously need to play really well. He's, um, you know, one of the best players in the community, so can't take that lightly. What does he lead with? Watch. So he leads a Rotom again. Um... I think I'm just going to arrows. Not even going to think about it. Um, could leave this depending on your set. You'll know that I'm banded if he stays in and dies, I think, because I'm pretty sure he'll... Like, last time he built so that he would leave um, soft sands, but uh, not enough for band. He could be thinking about it. Like, he doesn't want to give me a free dragon dance. Um, because that's really bad for him. So I think, I think we got the lead right, because he's taking some time here. I mean, unless we're having land problems, hopefully not. He does withdraw. Let's go Verizion. Icarus, that's the Torn. He's going to take a lot of damage, he's not going to die. bulkier than last time. Take like 61%. Uh, no. No, that's probably similar to last time. So that's fine. That makes sense. Um, uh, we go Toxtricity. Um, he could just knock off. Makes sense because um, he probably lives. Um, if he presses knockoff this time, he would, um, he withdraws. Okay, where does he go? He goes bruising on. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, he kind of has to attack me here, I think. Kind of has to attack me here, so it makes me want to go into, um, my Rillaboom. 
what I'm going to do. We could SD, but um, we do have acrobatics and we should leave any um, plus two hit. What does he go for? He goes for Stone Edge and he does connect. Uh, he had Stone Edge last time. We're just going to go into our um, Teeny, which will force switch. Yes. We could have also gone into Pompei there, but like he's got the left gear and I can't break that, so don't worry too much. Um Yeah, and his life orb again. Uh, so we know that he's life orb. Um I'm just gonna blue flare. I think that's that's a fine play. Life orb. He should go into Rodom here. Yeah. I uh, expect the Vault Switch here. I'm just going to Blue Flare again. So, like 30%. He's left those. That feels like the same ish set as last time. Uh, we don't take much from um, Vault Switch, so I'm just going to Vault again. Ah, uh, Blue Flare again. That's fine, just chipping this down. He could hard out as well, which would um, possibly be very good for me. Making a prediction. That's really annoying. Fuck, that's fine. Yeah, what does that do? Like 45 to me? Uh, yeah, so I think it's just the same set as last time. That's unfortunate. Getting more chip on this would have been you know, great, obviously. Um, what does he go into here? I feel like he just doubles back into the Rotom. Yeah, so he's just going to bait the... Um, He's just going to bait. I could just, um... I'm Blue Flare. I'm not going to play around that. I could go into the, um... Zygarde, but... Why? Please hit. Yeah. Um... This time I'm going to go into uh, my Toxtricity. I'm fine with how this was played out. Mostly, obviously the miss wasn't as good because um, Rodom should be a bit lower. He might just Vault Switch again. Like, I don't think he... Yeah, we're low. Okay. So he was trying to read for um, Zygarde coming in there. And I think we can just Boom Burst here. Um, doesn't actually kill this, but... It's fine. I don't think he goes draw. Oh, he could go draw. Yeah, we just Boom Burst. Vault, we do under speed, which is exactly what we wanted. But we, yeah, he goes into extra draw. We can just go into, um, Little Boom, his Mold Breaker, obviously. Yeah, that's fine damage. Seems about the same set as last time. Um, yeah, happy to go into my Rillaboom. Good double here. We get the. We're bringing Rillaboom in after um, 
like like the first round of grass disappeared, which is pretty nice, I think. He withdraws, so he does double. Good play, good play. I think he knocks off here. I don't have an item, but... Is it ever Hurricane here, though? Does he ever hurricane? We can't. Can we restart? I know. Kind of. No. I think he does knock off here. I don't think he can afford to go into um, again though. Yeah. Ugh. Um. Yeah, I think we bolt switch here. I mean, if he's got psyche. Maybe kill him? No item. Shouldn't he kill us? We are max HP, max for death. We go kill again. Jesus. Alright, that was perfect. We can go into Flyguard fairly free. That's good damage. That's really good damage. Scale shots, uh, you know, not as good as it could have been. Oh, it's fine. Just arrows here. He should go into his, um, where is he on again? Do we want to read that? It's pretty, very bold to go for a Zen headbutt with a, um, left in front of me. I mean, he could just switch a route. Big damage. Um, yeah, we just thousand errors again. So we'll go bruising on. No. That, yeah, okay, that's a fair play. That's, um... Hmm. Can I go Tox here? Tox is getting low. Probably just attack here. I'm gonna overdrive. He's going to. Damn it. Play. Play, um... We don't need much chip on, um... Left in the Arctic first. Stayed in. 
because he's so dense. I'm sure he did light play. Stone heads they are pretty bulky. Returns of reflect. Um, gonna drain punch this turn. If he goes to the torn, that sucks. But... Okay. Please don't flinch. Close. I can't even go straight into this now. <sighs> I think I go... Yeah, I think I go Victini. He could be Scarfed, right? We're just blue flare. I think Rotom's in two hit KO range, I believe. Losing Rillaboom there really sucks. Um, Flinch makes things quite tough. Yeah, 60%. Not in range, but he can't kill me. I think I go Confei now. Chip down the lefty. I believe. But, like, we don't have another chance to get the um, grassy seed, so. Bolts. I can Calm Minds here, and then Giga Drain, because I don't think I'm in range. Is that a bad play? Maybe. I play again. Okay. Now I can Giga Drain, I should do... I'm not going to kill it. Uh, yeah, I'll just keep it ring. It's not too much. Fine 
heads again. Um, hmm. I'll just go close to here, or do I go teeny thin? I think I'll go Victini and then... Yeah, next time Excadrill comes in, I think I just have to go for it. He just stays in. That's bad. Because now Cloister doesn't really have anything it can set up on. I think between like, yeah, I, I can't sweep with Excadrill, um, Cloister anyway, because Clefki's still there. Maybe I should have risked that he doesn't have Thunder Wave, like... I think I just blue flow this. Which I'm running out of. Probably just bolt into sloking now. He probably just wins by doing that. Maybe. I just gotta go into this, I think. Uh, I don't know what he'll do. Maybe he could double. Scold. Thousand arrows and um, it's a plan. It's been rough. I don't think I've done a lot wrong. Um, I can still probably win this in some circumstances. Um, Don't get a burn. Doesn't. Doesn't. He switches out here. I'm going to go to... Um... Teeny. Please don't stay in. Kill this with a U-turn. It's a roll. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, 
Yeah, he can go back into the slow king there. Maybe I should. Maybe I should have just fun game it. I go into Toxtricity and I Volt Switch. As a roll to kill, do I need teeny? Not really. I've got one blue flare left. I'm just gonna click it. He calm lines. Okay, he withdraws. What? I wonder if he knows that I have none left. This thing, honestly. Um, I just boom burst. The chunk slacks off. Oh. Here's what I do. I save this as a sack. I vault switch into Victini in my final gambit, I believe. That play. I should be able to put him into um Zygarde range. Check it out, see how it goes slack off again. I just have to go into this. He can go into Parisian, um, which is fine. I die. I just have to try and set up on that, I think. A thousand arrows. Which should kill this. But maybe he lets it go so he can set up Parisian. But then I can kill him with the Ice Shard. I don't know. He's still got that Clefk in the back. Please die. This thing! Thing just doesn't die. Thank you. <sighs> I 
think I've, yeah. So we've got Cloister at full, I've still got Toxtricity sitting there. With like 10 HP, I think. What's he got? Tornadus, Rizion. I might do this actually. I'm going to 1000 arrows this. Because that should put him in Ice Shard range. Quick attack. Fuck. Um, Poster vs. Verizion. It's not in Ice Shard range, but I'm not even in range. I'm not in range of any of his hits. Uh, I don't know how low Clef is. But at plus two, I can maybe do this. Uh, if he is jolly max attack with the life orb, I live this no matter what. Then I ice shard because I'm quicker and I one hit KO. I didn't have ice shard last time. His quick attack is going to be faster next time. Fuck. I might have to sh I I I shot Let's Cisco Torn needs to be have some chip taken off us, and I can't remember how much health he's got. I've got a feeling that he's at uh, full. Clefki, Clefki, Clefki. Max HP, max defense. He's not in ice shard range. I could just. Shell smash again. Um, see him, which puts him in shard range. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna shard again. Ah, uh, shell smash again. Because I think he's gonna thunder wave. Reflect. That's. Uh, he mustn't have. He mustn't have thunder wave then. So I'm at what, plus four. He's got a reflect up. Does he have a way to hit me though? Does he have an attack? Um. Um. Plus six through reflect to torn. <sighs> uh, I'm gonna spear. I'm gonna win. Three. Let's go. Let's go. Let's fucking go. I think he's just got the torn left. Miss Clay. New nickname, by the way, for Cloister Spike. The shiny Cloister Spike. What's he thinking about here? Fucking let's go! Let's fucking go! Cloister, broken. Fucking go, yes. 
that game was amazing. Um, we both took some huge risks. Um, that's like right up there with one of the best um, best Wi-Fi games I can remember playing. That was sick. Um, it was a 50-50 on that cloister set. I actually made two builds of cloister this week. One was fast enough to outspeed Rotom Wash, and this one was bulky enough to live a um, close combat from um, Verizion with the Life Orb, and it had enough bulk to uh, not get 3 hit KO by, I think it was Jolly Excadrill Ironhead, I believe, or it was like a roll in my favour. Uh, we went with the bulky set so that we could come in on the Excadrill. Uh, the second Shell Smash was I don't know if he had an attack on the uh, Klefki. I think that might have saved me. Um, yeah, good game to Matt O'Shea. Like, uh, that'll be his last Wi-Fi game on Sword and Shield, I believe, from what he said. Um, and he's, I guess, kind of one of those um, pillars of the community. You know, been doing Wi-Fi battles for such a long time. And um, yeah, I'll watch all your matches. So. Uh, shout out to him, you should watch his matches too, and um, yeah, I'll see you for the uh, semi-finals of the YCL. Uh, yeah, that was a cracker. Um, yeah, see you there. <laughs>